Today we have to discuss about the topic is Jogren syndrome. The Jogren syndrome is nothing but it is the clinical trade of xerophthalmia, uh, xerostomia and rheumatoid arthritis. It is a systemic disease which means our own immune system attack the own cells especially exocrine glands such as salivary gland, lacrimal gland and other exocrine gland leads to the formation of xerostomia, xerophthalmia and dryness of the upper respiratory tract etc. We go to the topic Jogren syndrome. It is a chronic inflammatory systemic disease that predominantly affects salivary gland and lacrimal gland and other exocrine gland. This Jogren syndrome can be divided into two types. One is primary variant that is Sika syndrome. Xerophthalmia and xerostomia is only present. Which means xerophthalmia. Xerophthalmia is nothing but dryness of eye. Xerostomia. Xerostomia is nothing but dryness of mouth. In secondary variety, xerostomia, xerophthalmia and other collagen disorders such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythromatous causes Jogren, cause Jogren syndrome. Thus, rheumatoid arthritis is nothing but it is also the autoimmune system immune disease which means our own immune cell can affect our own tissue especially the joint this is called as rheumatoid arthritis unknown etiology and there is a b lymphocyte hyperactivity will be seen and presence of anti nuclear antibody in 90 percent cases which means our host immune system attacked by the virus the virus nucleus and host nucleus especially exocrine gland host exocrine gland nucleus are similar as a result our immune system produces an antibody against that nucleus that leads to destruction of destruction of the host uh, cell especially exocrine gland cell along with virus and positive rheumatic factors also seen some cases and infiltration of T lymphocytes in exocrine gland and it is also associated with other autoimmune disease and also human leukocyte antigen which means this is the human leukocyte antigen this is the human leukocyte antigen that is major histocompatibility class 2 and class 1 this producing DNA can affected this producing gene can affected as a result uh, HLA, especially HLA DRW52, HLA DR3, HLA B8, these are affected. A cytomegalovirus uh, and substitute bar virus have been implicated in this pathogenesis. In clinical features, mostly females have the above 40 years of age people are affected. Children and young adults also affected. The eye became dryness that is called as keratoconjunctivitis and the eye irritation that leads to dryness of the eye causes irritation and ulceration and rheumatoid arthritis along with Jogren syndrome and dryness of pharynx, larynx and the upper respiratory tract vaginal dry also seen because there is a lack of secretion of exocrine gland as a result there is a dryness will be seen. In oral manifestation, the xerostomia leads to dryness of the mouth, which means dryness of the mouth that leads to difficulty in eating and difficulty in controlling dentures and difficulty in speech, etc. The mucosa is glazed, which means the mucosa is glazed and the tongue becomes easily atrophied and the mucosa is wrinkled and look like cobblestone appearance. In at the same time, this Jogren syndrome causes periodontal disease and acute bacterial cell adenitis because this bacteria that leads to this uh, xerostomia leads to invasion of bacteria into the salivary gland cause that is called as acute bacterial cell adenitis and the enlargement of salivary gland lymphadenopathy candidiasis dental caries also seen in CLO radiograph 
we see that uh, cherry blossom appearance at the same time branchless fruit lendry also present in laboratory findings increase in erythrocytic sedimentation rate increase in hemoglobin and the increase in rheumatic factors in 60% cases and anti nuclear antibody these anti nuclear antibodies are uh, anti ss a and anti ss b these antibodies are produced from the plasma cells against virus and host cell nuclei so this virus also this sorry this immunoglobin is also seen in higher number salivary duct antibodies are also seen this anti nuclear antibodies are present in 75 to 80 percentage cases we have to see that uh, increased anti nuclear antibody in 75 to 80 percentage cases and histology it is in three forms one is these lymphocytes can infiltrate into the asina cells and normal structure is maintained this arsenal cells are replaced by the infocytic infiltration cell this arsenal cells are destroyed this myoepithelial cells and ductal cells get hyperplastic leads to formation of epi myoepithelial island and complete destruction of the salivary duct completely destroyed is formed in three forms it is in the three form one is the asana cell get atrophied and replaced by inflammatory infiltrates and another one is this asana cell get destroyed and myoepithelial cells and ductal epithelial cells are hyperplastic and lead to formation of island and another cases the ductal cells is completely destroyed completely atrophied here is the lymphatic infiltration completely atrophy the ductal cells sorry ductal cells that is salivary ducts completely destroyed this lymphocytic infiltrate completely destroy the salivary ducts the treatment is systemic therapy antifungal drug antibiotic eye drops uh, in character conjunctivitis artificial tears are used xerostomia uh, like uh, during xerostomia the dryness of the mouths using saliva substitutes such as sweetless chewing gums and sweetless uh, candies are also used in dental caries uh, we maintain the proper oral hygiene and frequent fluoride application because this fluoride uh, replaces the hydroxy operated crystals as a result this uh, resistance to anti resistance to caries this fluoride materials thank you